sometimes I wonder if it was the right thing to uh, live out a dream of a 12-year-old without ever stopping to think for a second that, that is that really what you're supposed to be doing, but that's what I did and that's where I'm at. Oh, hi. Welcome to Snake Monkey, the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Uh, I'm M. Henry Jones, and this is my facility, Snake Monkey uh, Studio and Store. It's on 202 Avenue A between 12 and 13. Uh, 13's right there, 12 here on the east side. Uh, we do animation, short films, uh, some TV commercials on the past. At America's Best, new patients get daily wear soft contacts. Right now we're focusing on short art films, and we're interested in having uh, people come by and check us out. You can buy stuff at the store, but we do artwork, or it's a limited edition. A lot of stuff we do here is keyed in with film, though. And if you'd like to come by anytime, just step in. This is my shop. We do uh, sculptures and three-dimensional photography. I call it fly's eye photography. I call it a hot dog photo. It's my favorite fly's eye picture. TV commercials, all types of animation. Our motto at Snake Monkey, good, cheap, fast, pick two. I don't want to be rushed. I want to do the right thing the right way and take time to do things that need to be done so that when it's all said and finished, you have a piece that can run for 5, 10, 12 years on the air. I grew up in a little town north of Buffalo and uh, got involved in making uh, experimental puppet films. From that point on, I was just doing animation and kind of obsessing on it for the rest of my life. It was a couple years ago that I decided to take the front of the studio and turn it into a store because people would always come by and say, are you a store? Are you a store? Are you a store? So I made the front of the store and it's been very successful. It brought a lot of people in here. We talk with them and this and that. It doesn't particularly slow me down from doing my work in the back or getting the animators to do their work. So I think it's a great deal. The artwork that we're making with the films is starting to grow a little bit bigger. We're trying to come up with different characters. And we have Atticus's drawings and put them on the shirt. I got my friend Brian Lee who did a bunch of artwork. And uh, we have some stuff from Stuart Graves. And my wife Rachel does these beautiful fairy pictures. and. You know, you can come in and buy stuff, or you can look at the animation we're working on, and it makes us kind of like more uh, in tune with the neighborhood. I conceive, I direct, and I lately I've been getting doing a lot of mechanical building. I'm just going to plug it in and turn the lights off, and it should go. It's dangerous. My new work, which is stroboscopic zoetropes. The figures are animating with the strobe light firing on them, and I was really fascinated with the way that the strobe light firing freezing the moments. The eye retains what it's seen for a period of time. You can create persistence of vision, which is, in fact, all movies. The concept here is that it's a three-dimensional manifestation of these killer babies that were done as drawings. These are aluminum, and then this goes just like that, and then we have it. Every time this mass of metal passes by the proximity switch, it fires a strobe light, which goes through this brain, down the triggering device, into this unpatched in cable. It's working like a dream. Now, if we turn the lights off... Oh, well, these are um, exhibited in museums. The reason I liked film always was because it was a moving painting. And I never really liked the idea of telling stories. I liked the idea of capturing moments and freezing them, like in a dream. Spin the clock back to 1976. At that point, it wasn't really a popular idea to make a film that was entirely dedicated to one song length. They're called rock videos. And this was a very early one that I was responsible for with Peter Zaremba in it. I think it's a beautiful film and it makes me feel good. Somebody get some coffee for me to drink. <laughs>